Greetings, everyone. I'm going to tell you about an activity that is for ESL students. But to tell you the truth, even though I'm a native English speaker, I really wish I could have practiced this activity when I was a student. I can see myself and many of my former students. For example, we, one day we were having a class discussion about loneliness and different students were sharing their experiences. About a third of the class would raise their hand uh, to speak and to tell their opinions and tell their stories. But the other students just seemed to listen. But this is interesting. When I called on their, those most more passive students, they usually had something really interesting to say, some interesting ideas and interesting stories. I think that they were just a bit shy about speaking to the whole class, or perhaps they just weren't quite confident in their skills. That's how I was in my younger days as a student. At the same time, I think some students hesitated to volunteer because it wasn't acceptable to do that in their schools, in their countries. I also noticed a similar situation when students were in small group discussions. Some members tended to be more passive and always waited for the others to direct, uh, directly ask them uh, a discussion question. Others were much more active, volunteering to answer. You know, most of us would agree that a willingness to volunteer and answer during group discussions carries some great benefits in helping students take advantage of speaking opportunities. Once they become comfortable with this skill, there is often a carryover effect in which they tend to be more willing to volunteer in whole class discussions. Also, perhaps more importantly, I've noticed an increase in students' willingness to initiate conversations with me before or after class and to ask for help on assignments and not just wait for me to offer. The activity that I'm going to show you is effective in getting even the shyest and most hesitant students to feel comfortable volunteering to speak and even enjoy doing it. How to help students feel comfortable volunteering an answer. The first thing we want to do is decrease students' feelings of uneasiness about volunteering an answer. We can start with an activity which is non-threatening. In other words, in which they won't worry if they make a mistake. Also, as I had mentioned, in some cultures, students don't just volunteer to respond. This activity gives them permission to do it. That's the whole point of the activity. Oh, by the way, in the notes below, I'll include a link to the complete handouts for this activity that you can use with your students for free. So students will be in small groups of four or five. Each group member is given a paper with a student A, B, C, D, or E at the top. On each paper are two sets of directions. One set is for asking questions, and the second set is for volunteering to answer. For example, here is student A's paper with the directions for asking questions. So the directions say, one, ask your questions below in any order, Two, do not ask anyone directly. In other words, don't look at anyone or say anyone's name. And number three, your partners will volunteer to answer. And then the second set of directions looks like this. So directions for volunteering. One, volunteer to answer your partner's questions with details. An answer with and, but, so, because, or with two sentences. Number two, try to answer first sometimes and sometimes wait for your partners to volunteer. Number three, ask follow-up questions too. So on each student's paper are a set of questions that are different from the others. They take turns asking their questions but don't ask anyone directly. 
for example, here's uh, the questions that we would have for just for student A and student B. So here you have student A, and questions for volunteers to answer. Uh, for example, what time do you usually get up? And who did you talk to on a cell phone today? And have you ever smoked a cigarette? Uh, and then some more. And student B, questions for a volunteer. Do you have any older brothers or sisters? Are you a morning person or a night person? And where and when do you remember staying in a hotel? And then we have uh, so several more questions. So every each of the students, A, B, C, D, E, have a set of questions. And the goal is for each member to volunteer an answer and not wait to be directly asked. In addition, to make it more interesting, we need to respond with and, but, so, because, or, two sentences. And I usually tell the students that sometimes they should try to answer first, and at other times to let others do that before answering. And I also suggest that they should ask follow-up questions. So to demonstrate how this works, I've asked a, a couple of my colleagues here uh, if they would join me. I'll be student A, and one of you will be student B and the other student C. Here are your papers. We'll have to imagine that we have two more members joining us. But for this experience, uh, this little practice here, we'll just, it'll just be the three of us. I'll ask the first question. I'll be student A, I'll ask the first questions. Uh, of course, you cannot see my questions. So I'm going to choose one of the questions from my paper. Have you ever smoked a cigarette? Now, any one of you can volunteer to answer first. And you'll answer the question and include and, but, so, because, or two sentences. Okay, so have you ever smoked a cigarette? Yes, when I was, a, when I was in college, I smoked because I thought I would look mature. I see. When would you smoke to look mature? Oh, usually at a party. I also tried to smoke a couple times, but I really didn't like it. Really? What didn't you like about it? Oh, it, it seemed to burn my lungs. Uh, and, you know, I really didn't see the point. Okay, now, if we had two other members in our group today, they would volunteer their answers too. Then, Student B will ask the next question, and student A, me, and you, student C, will we'll volunteer to answer, and we will try to ask uh, some follow-up questions. Okay, uh, let's see. Oh, are you a morning person or a night person? Definitely, I'm a night person. I seem to have my most energy around 9 or 10 p.m., Interesting. Uh, what time do you usually go to bed? Oh, around one o'clock. I'm the total opposite. I enjoy getting up early, even when it's still dark outside when nobody else is up yet. I imagine that you start out with a strong cup of coffee every day. So you can see that we volunteered and answered with two sentences or with and, but, or so, or because. I've noticed that when students do this, they are often interested in what their group members have said, and so they'll, they'll ask follow-up questions, just like we did. One of the several benefits of this activity is that students become aware of how much they can actually help a group discussion by being willing to volunteer to respond. In other words, instead of thinking that they are a better group member by not standing out or by waiting until someone asks them a question directly, they are actually doing the others a favor by volunteering. Also, during whole class discussions, their teachers will be impressed if they volunteer to add to the discussion. Once they've done this activity, I've noticed a big improvement how much students are willing to volunteer to respond during whole class and small group discussions. 
You know, as I mentioned uh, earlier, feel free to click on the link in the notes below to find the complete activity. Thank you for watching.